I think the most important things to understand is um, the alpha and the beta dichotomy right now. And I think that there's a lot of misconceptions between uh, what we consider an alpha guy and a beta guy. And all of my critics will tell you, well, if a guy is alpha, there's no such thing as an alpha. I don't, I don't believe in this alpha male bullshit, okay? Because they, they compare that alpha male to a wolf, or they compare it to a silverback gorilla, or they make it uh, etymological, meaning that they try to compare um, you know, animalistic, natural side of whatever alpha is. Because if we're looking at an alpha male in a wolf pack or an alpha male in a, in a gorilla you know, troop, um, then we're looking at something that's completely different. And so when I refer to the terms alpha and beta, always understand that those are placeholder terms. They are abstracts and they are placeholders for an idea. So when guys tell me, you know, there's no such thing as an alpha, well, there's no such thing as an alpha by your definition of it. Just as for hypergamy, the definition for hypergamy when it was a sociological, um, a sociological definition, it deserves a whole lot more than that. It deserves so much more uh, from, you know, an understanding from uh, evolutionary psychology, from evolutionary biology. Um, there's so much that builds up to what hypergamy should be, but we're still, we shouldn't know this. We go back to the, well, you shouldn't know this kind of stuff. We should just keep it as one, you know, uh, very simplistic uh, hypergamous definition. So the same applies also for alpha and beta. Now, I'm going to do a, a second speech or a second talk um, tomorrow, and we're gonna talk about positive masculinity. And it's also, I'm sure everybody else will be here, but I, it's important to know these terms even before I get into that. So, just off the top of your head, can you guys give me some sort of uh, adjective or definition of what you think an alpha male is? Confident. Confident. Leading the group. Leading the group. Illiterate. What's that? Assertive. Assertive. Yeah. Strong Good. boundaries. Good. Strong boundaries, okay. No expectations. No expectations, okay. Self-interested. Self-interested, self-concerned, Balanced. yes. Authority. Balanced. Okay, a lot of the, a lot of the, and these are very common terms of what I would expect from guys who want to apply certain demographics to what alpha is. And if anybody has read, read the book where I get into my alpha male descriptions, um, there is an element to, to being that alpha guy, to being the, the one that is looked up to. Um, a lot of guys want to say it's, it's about being a leader of men. Uh, they want to say that it's being an asshole, you know, being an unconcerned, self-concerned um, individual. Uh, others would like to say, well, um, you can be a leader of community, you can be a, a politician. Maybe, you know, there's certain politicians you would say are certainly beta, and you know, certain politicians that you would say are, are alpha. Um, but what we're doing when we talk about those adjectives is we're applying our own ideals onto what the ideal guy is. So here we have the alpha male who's this ideal, and we're taking whatever we think is going to define what would work best for us. So say some guy is, uh, he's like he's a pastor, and he's a business leader, and he's uh, an executive, and he commands attention, and he has status. It doesn't necessarily mean he's alpha. He's got those qualities as part of the demographic that we're applying to that. But is he alpha or is he not? Now, you can also say that uh, prisons are full of alpha males right now. So you can be, uh, you know, Genghis Khan was a fantastic alpha male, but he was certainly on a lot of guys' shit lists back in, the <laughs> back in his time. So I want you guys to sort of drop everything that you think of as far as what an alpha male is to you and use that definition. And I'm also gonna apply this to, to beta males. Use that definition as, uh, as an abstract. Use, use your definition, put your defi definitions aside, and use alpha male as just a simple abstract here. And the same is gonna go for beta. I don't know if anybody's familiar with, uh, with Vox Day and Vox Day's uh, classifications of alpha, you know, sigma, uh, gamma, and all that. I think that has some merit to it, I really do, as far as defining terms are concerned. But for my purposes and for every, everything that I write, um, alpha and beta, are always gonna be abstracts. So there's alpha, that is the more positive uh, uh, 
dominant masculine uh, guy that women want to fuck. And there's the beta who is the more passive, um, you know, supplicating, more supportive, some that guy who believes in in being the supportive male and, and sort of you know being the provisioner. Because I get into terminologies of alpha fucks and beta bucks, and I'm sure you guys have already read all that stuff. So um, just for the moment, put that aside and just think of them as binary binary definitions. Um, what is the red pill? What is the red pill to people?